New Marvel Snap Season, two new Marvel Snap cards, fantastically fun new Marvel Snap deck leveraging both of these, kicking things off with Hope Summers, our latest season pass card, 3-4, after you play a card here, get plus one energy next turn. Noteworthy that we can trigger her effect multiple times, so if you play three cards out to her location on turn four, you're going to have plus three energy on turn five. Some big, sweet combo stuff, as well as Pixie, a 2-1 who's on reveal shuffles the cost of all cards in your deck that started there. What Pixie essentially does with her on reveal is the game gathers up all the costs of all the cards currently in your deck that began the game there and distributes them randomly back out to the cards. What this notably does mean is that Pixie is capable of giving a card back its same original cost. It's not guaranteed to exchange it. And obviously, if you have, say, two one energy cards in your deck, they could get assigned to each other. Other noteworthy things about Pixie is that she only swaps base costs, meaning this deck is playing She-Hulk, who reduces her cost due to unspent energy the previous turn, but for the purpose of Pixie, she is always going to be a 6 when she gets swapped around. What this deck is essentially looking to do is leverage bombs like She-Hulk and Doctor Doom and Magneto to shuffle them up with cheaper costs in our deck, like Nico Minaru and Spider Ham and Sun spot and two energy cards like goose and jeff so we can slam them down on the last turn of the game for really efficient turns with big points hope kind of serves as a backup plan for the games where pixie doesn't show up or doesn't swap our costs appropriately so we can accelerate into these six energy cards at a turn something else that's noteworthy is similar to how the limbo decks pass with six energy on six if you have hope give you an extra energy on turn five you can pass with six energy up making she hulk completely free and allowing you to play magneto or dr doom as a six drop alongside her this deck is also leveraging one of my absolute favorite cards in moon girl to not only only have double She-Hulk as a backup plan, but periodically we get to Moon Girl copy, say, a one or two energy Magneto putting huge point swings in a way that's difficult for our opponent to predict, generating large cube equity. One other last card in this deck that I think is a must-have card in every Pixie deck is Mobius M. Mobius. Because Mobius prevents your cards from having their costs increase what this means for when played in tandem with pixie is mobius basically lets pixie be all upside meaning that your cards that get their costs reduced from pixie's triggers get cheaper but mobius prevents pixie from increasing the cost of any of your cheaper cards that get assigned bigger numbers in pixie swap around at any rate i hope you enjoy the game highlights that i have for you here today i think they do a phenomenal job of showcasing the raw output potential that a deck like this has i think Pixie especially is a card that's going to have good cube equity in at least the short term and potentially just in perpetuity because similar to a card like Mr. Negative, she really masks what numbers you can put out and where at the end of the game, meaning your opponent's going to have to take risks or be more conservative with how they retreat. I had a ton of fun. Enjoy. Sweet play always dies to Hella. <sighs> the good news is we are probably. Ooh, ooh, they didn't have it. Oh, baby. Sure. Sometimes, sometimes lucky rubber ducky. Awkward hand. Or awkward board, I should say. Hand, hand's actually really good. But missing a missing board. Being down board space is like not where we want to be. I guess we're a Doctor Doom deck. They lost their coin flip here. Perfect. Out nice. Honestly, could probably snap here on the Nico Nico roll. Oh, snap. But I don't. I don't think they're gonna beat the Doombot over here.
I think it's literally just like pass, pass, slam, right? Like how do they how do they ever beat me? We we porked we porked their apocalypse. What's a what's a real Marvel staff card in discards output range? Unironically, uh I should play Doctor Doom here to play around Eliath. Doom rules all. The answer is infinite. No, we're beating them discarding an infinite here. They just got an infinite we were still up on them. Victory. Proxima's already on the board, yep. They proxima early. They should not have. Oh, snap. Sunspot, Pixie, and I have Mobius on two into the Elysium game. Yep, sign me up. Again, if you're building with Pixie, this is in the spotlight caches this week because every Pixie deck, excuse me, should be a Mobius deck as well. Mobius makes it so your Pixies are all upside, essentially. I'm gonna wait a turn on the spider ham, actually, in case we hit the demon mode or draw card mode here. The animation on Spider Ham is stellar, yes. Agree. She is set to one from Pixie. That's lovely. Can I draw can I draw Moon Girl next turn? <laughs> I've had a I've had enough, I guess. I see it looks good. The animations? That's so clean. So, initial, initial read on Pixie. My first thought on needing to like super high roll as hard as possible with um, I would snap here on the Mobius draw if we were trying to play for keeps, but I don't want them to leave on a, on a game where I got to do my thing. Um, a, de a deck like this, we're just like playing good cards on rate that could be good to shuffle their costs. Definitely seems really reasonable for Pixie. Holy mother of God. Whoo, doggy. It'll do, pig. It'll do. And I get to pork your Jade. Don't tell Thor chat that we pork Jade. Every card you play gives you an energy. Yeah, we might lose this game, actually. We'll see. Depends on how many hammers they draw, naturally. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this should be considered a bug. When I have Mobius, it doesn't show me when costs are changed here. It doesn't show me when costs are changed here, so I don't I don't know which costs from my deck this had if I don't see it change immediately. Uh filling sacred timeline gives me a second She-Hulk. Is that our noteworthy here? Porking their Morbius. 
the snap gibbers. Snap. Snap on the sunspot try, I think. Feels good. Feels good to have a couple of really good card releases in step. Ah, Jeff would have been a perfect pickup. Ooh, also not bad. Also not bad. I want to keep them from playing big things on the left. Hey, Hammer Smash, thanks for the brand new Prime, appreciate it. Okay, Chad, it's official. One energy moon girl is my new favorite thing in Marvel Snap. This, this comes as a surprise to very, very few people. I have watched this stream, but you should you should be aware that one energy moon girl is my new favorite thing. I got Pixie on my first key. I don't have Hammer Morbius, should you try and get them? I think every Pixie Dex wants to play Mobius, so you should probably pull for Mobius. I think I just do this and soak four and call it a day. Get there, there, beauty single hulks. Oops, oops, all she hulk. I can't even hold all these she hulks, chat. No way to get hope for a free to play player, not for the first month. Hope will, hope will be a regular series five card when next season starts. Chad, I'm sold. This is it. This deck is the, the fucking truth, the light, and the word. This is... It's all, all I want to do in Marvel Stamp from here on in perpetuity is, is right, is right here. This is, this is it. Yes. Yes, please. And I have an extra energy from last turn, so I get to play seven energy worth of cards here. Good God, gamers. Pay me out! Thank you! Take on me, bot. Retreat. There's not a replacement for Hope Summer shit. I I know it's been a while since we've had a season where a season pass card was legitimately good. But you cannot replace Hope Summers in any deck playing Hope Summers and still have that deck operate at nearly the same power level. Like, she's she's a unique card with a powerful effect.
a cannonball over with it. My current expectation, just reading the cards at face value, is that Cannonball is probably the worst release this month. Whether or not he's playable could go either way, but there are there are a lot of strong releases this month, and then there's Cannonball. Mobius is not going to be saving anybody from a bad power swap here. Bad cost swap. Seeing some of Moon Girl's awkwardness with Pixie like I talked about earlier. This just in. Or it's going to be tough to be able to... Oh, oh, baby. All right, wait. No, wait. It all worked out, right? If I do this, next turn I can Moon Girl and create two, two energy Magnetos. Chad, I lied. I lied. Moon Girl, Moon Girl Pixie's perfect. No notes. No notes. I want to full fill here. It's a bot, so it probably doesn't matter, but this is a bot, yes. And we have a seventh energy from Hope Summers, so I get to play She Hulk Magneto Magneto this turn. Holy, like obviously this was an AI, but like from a pure what are we doing perspective, like I'm picking, like this is, this is me right now. Like, oh, ha, ha. We're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Victory. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.